I'm starting to see these heat pumps on houses everywhere in New Brunswick these days and I'm wondering how much more efficient are they than just using straight up electricity in the winter. And I realized we already have a heat pump like that in our refrigerator. So I bought some of these uh, TP-Link smart plugs which allow me to turn things on and off from a computer and the Model 110 of these also measures power fairly accurately at least it compensates for a power factor and I've got our fridge plugged into one of these monitored by a uh, Raspberry Pi wirelessly and I've also got uh, temperature sensors in there one of these is in the freezer and the other one is in the fridge. So I've let it run like that for a few hours to get a baseline and my next step is to put this 60 watt bulb into the fridge and now I can measure how much electricity it's going to take to pump 60 watts worth of heat out of the refrigerator. So here's the fridge under normal operation. This purple line is the power draw. You can see the compressor on, off, on again, off again. The uh, duty cycle for the compressor was 42% and the average power averaged over time over a whole number of periods was 45 watts. Then I turn on the uh, 60 watt bulb and I actually had some intermittent contact on the bulb so I opened up the fridge here to fix that which uh, drove up the humidity in the fridge. Um, and here is the temperature inside the fridge and that kept creeping up with the bulb on even though the fridge, the compressor was running the whole time. So I realized that wasn't working and I opened up the fridge again and swapped it for a 40 watt bulb so you can see the uh, heater power draw going down. At that point the temperature dropped and holding steady but uh, the compressor never turned off. So 40 watts was still too much for that fridge to keep up with. So that's kind of disappointing. So now I'm switching to a 17 watt appliance bulb. And I've also been making sure that the part going through the seal is the flat extension cord. And here's the data I got now. The fridge consumed over 400 watts for about 20 minutes. And that's the defrost cycle. Basically it's melting the ice off of the coils that cool the air in the fridge because ice accumulates there and then it had to run the compressor for quite a while to recool the fridge and I don't know why it glitched here but then here it got the steady state and uh, analyzing a whole number of periods for that um, we have a reasonable fridge and freezer temperature uh, the duty cycle was 69 percent and the average power with that duty cycle was 71 watts uh, power consumption is actually the same, it's just the compressor is running more. The thing is, the fridge needs to pump out more than just the heat that I'm putting in with a light bulb. It also needs to pump in all the heat that slowly comes in through the walls. So here's my long run and I've taken sections of, with the 40 watt bulb here, uh, just running idle. Uh, these two are with the 17 watt bulb and this is again idle. So averaging the idle and the 17 watt bulb readings together, I get this and now I take the difference between those two. So the fridge is using an additional 25.58 watts on average to pump out the additional 16.93 watts of heat that I'm applying with a light bulb. So 16.8 watts divided by 25.6 watts. Um, so the efficiency relatively speaking is 0.662. That is every watt of electricity that a fridge consumes can pump out 0.662 watts of heat. Now if this fridge's heat pump was being used to heat up a house, I'd actually be getting 1.66 times the heat compared to the electricity I'm using instead of 0.66 because all the electricity that the fridge itself is consuming is also turning to heat that's coming into the house. Which is to say this heat pump, if it was trying to extract heat out of outside that was say minus 15 degrees cooling air down to minus 20 which is what it cools it in the fridge um, we'd be getting 1.6 times as much heat for the electricity as we would from a straight up electric heater now a uh, proper heating heat pump will be at least 20 times as powerful 
and there's a certain economy of scale with that sort of thing so I would expect it to be a bit more efficient than the refrigerator heat pump which is only 100 watts but one thing I didn't factor in is the defrost cycle certainly the fridge will do one every once in a while maybe once a day uh, the outside heat pump unit if it cools the air below freezing there is going to be ice forming on the coils of that unit and so what it has to do is every once in a while it has to heat up the outside unit to melt off that ice and of course that heat is going straight outside none of it is heating up the house so that would drop the system efficiency by a little bit now I also analyzed my short one with the 40 watt bulb so up here we were consuming 99 watts with 41.6 uh, watts of extra heat and so comparing we're using extra 54 watts for the 41.6 watts in that comes to an efficiency of 0.761 which is a bit better than I had with the relative reading with the 16 watts so perhaps the efficiency is a bit better it's just this run never really reached quite steady state so I'm not sure how much I should trust it also looking at the fridge's normal power consumption of 45.2 watts multiplying that times the 0.662 pumping out efficiency that suggests there's 29 watts of heat leaking into the fridge all the time and I'm not quite sure if that's correct because taking the area of the fridge and the 29 watts of heat flow that would make the fridge's insulation R20 which seems a bit much for the thickness of the walls and then I did another experiment which is to improve the insulation of the fridge by covering it with a whole bunch of duvets and stuff like that with uh, all those extra blankets on top for insulation this is what I get the blankets are definitely helping because the heat is only blowing out the bottom of the fridge and I now have a duty cycle of 38% and a power consumption average of 41.23 watts that's down about 10% so given that all those extra duvets only reduce the power consumption by 10% which is to say 10% less heat getting into the fridge that does suggest that the fridge is actually quite well insulated back to heat pumps is a heat pump really worth it? well I think even if you're extracting the heat from around minus 20 outside the heat pump will still give you more heat than a straight up electric heater would give you but not hugely so if it's extracting heat from the outside where it's say above freezing I think they work really really well but at those temperatures you don't actually need to heat all that much so is a heat pump worth it? you have to factor in the capital cost of the heat pump and the noise it makes by comparison baseboard heaters are super flexible and they last forever and they don't make any noise so is a heat pump worth it? well if you've got cheap natural gas for instance then a heat pump is definitely not worth it but if your electricity is expensive and it's not that cold outside I think then it's definitely worth it as for here in New Brunswick I'm not fully sold on it yet